Hi, it's Monday and uh, I've tried different ways to make this video work because it's so sunny. It's such a beautiful, beautiful day today. Look at that. See? So I put the sun behind me, hoping that uh, you get a sense that I'm there with you. <laughs> um, yes, I wanted to speak a little bit today of what it means to be a uh, a light worker. Well, working for the light is not exactly the word I would use. It's more holding, holding the light. Holding the highest frequency of light that you're able to hold. Just like that sunshine. That sun, you see? It's just, it's just being that solar energy. So in order to hold that frequency, you really have to be very grounded. Hi, my Gabby. Hope you're okay. Um, and, um, and so right now, many, many people are, have gone with um, a lot of fear, and the fear is intensified. Now, never on earth, never ever on earth, hi Chris, hi beautiful one, never on earth have we been able to communicate at such a fast accelerated pace. That has to do with internet, iPhones. So before, when someone was sick or someone was ill, unless we met at the market and we would say, oh, how is your grandmother? Or how is your grandson? Or how was the latest one? Has it been born yet? That was the way we had shared information. That's always been the way. But now we are in the age of virtual transmission. What that means is that we have direct access to millions of information, millions of data, base information and the problem with that is do we have enough spaciousness in ourselves to handle that amount of news hello living joy hello beautiful one i have one pigeon who's just landed on my jacket so you can see Living Joe is doing really well. So he's sunbathing right now on my back. So how do we handle that? Well, unless we regularly clear our database, like you would do on a computer, well, what's going to happen is you're going to get overwhelmed. And you will take that information as reality. And it can be reality. You know, people have died this year and last year, but no more than the year before. Check your data. Check the truth of how many people really did die. Go into the database from governments worldwide. Just check if that's where you need to focus, to put your focus. But my feeling is we need to really create more spaciousness within ourselves. And in to do that, well, we need to clear some space. <laughs> we need to empty, you know, maybe we need to back up some of that information, maybe on an external disk. But we really need to create spaciousness. So the way to create spaciousness is to quieten down our nervous system when we get activated. So we all carry different traumas. Some of us, it's before we were born and maybe at our birth. Some of us, it's wartime. And some of us, it's collective what's been handed down from our generations and generations with a tremendous amount of fear from those who, you know, those like my grandfather, grandmother, who lost loved ones on battlefield. 
others who lost very young ones were born. So I just shared that because I really feel it matters to remember we are in a virtual world. But if we stop to think, how much of that information am I able to really assimilate, digest, and transform? And for most of us, it's not a lot. Because for most of us, maybe all we can cope with and handle is just being with our loved ones, cooking, resourcing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm sharing that because as a light worker, warrior of the light, I have done a huge amount of work on myself and still doing in order to create more spaciousness. And the more spaciousness I'm able to create, the more higher frequencies of light, of love, of compassion I can handle because I have dealt with my fears I've dealt with my own levels of anxiety and I'm aware that this is not where I live from I don't live my life from that place where what is happening collectively is a story. We have always been very obedient. From the time we were born, we had to obey our parents, then we obeyed schooling, then we obeyed college, then university, and then work. But what is this all about really? Where am I in all that? Who am I in all that? What are my values? Hello, beautiful daughter. Hello, my gorgeous Izzy. I love you. So you can see, look at that amazing sunshine. And I've got a bird on my shoulder <laughs> who is sunbathing and listening. <laughs> it's learning. It's chosen to learn. <laughs> so my feeling is whatever is unfolding, maybe it's to push humanity push us to the limit so we can reclaim our sovereignty. We can reclaim that we are beings of light. We can reclaim that we not, do not put ourselves under any author, authoritarian father figure. And they're breaking down right now. But today was more about what it feels like being a light bearer. What it means for me. Well, it means making sure that I hold my light and that I shine the path so others who are still in slumber, who still believe there is some terrible something out there, that's going to get them. So the fear is about death. The fear is about loss of life. But we're all going to die. But we're infinite beings of light. So it is only the death of what I call the husk, the shell, this sacred vessel, this sacred cup, for this incarnation, maybe Brigitte Mary. For your incarnation, maybe Izzy or Chris or Gabby or Lala or any one of us, any one of you watching this video. But from the moment we identify with our physical body, our emotional body, our mental body, we are missing a tremendous piece, which is that we are a manifestation embodied from the Divine Source. <coughs> that is what we are. We are that ultimate point, still point, holding 
the divine light. Each one of us in our unique field and purpose. And that is the key. We moved into the age of Aquarius and we will be moving much more in 2024. So what it means is we are going to be no longer serving just the few people around us, what we thought was family, tribe. We're going to be moving into collective fields of service, the law of one, the good of all. And in order for that to manifest, the old has to break down. And the old has to do with power over, you know, power over. And the deviation of power over, first ray of the divine, the will to offer life, to give birth, create, is the misuse. It's always a shadow side to any of the seven rays. And the shadow side of the first ray is misuse of power. And as soon as we catch that I'm misusing my power, maybe in the words I'm using right now today, so only take what resonates with you. Why? Because I'm still growing. I'm still evolving. I'm still learning. I'm still processing. I'm just a humble being in a human body, but I'm a being of light as well. So the first ray is when we get too much power, how do I use that? Do I use that for the good of all? Or do I use that to put people under me? So, if we look into history over thousands of years, the church deviated its power. Yes, it did. So we had to go through the priests, through the Monsignor, through the Pope, in order to reach the Divine. When in fact we have a direct access to the Divine. We are that spark of the Divine. Are you purring? <laughs> Oh my gracious me, this bird is funny. So we are that spark of the divine and we have a responsibility. How do I respond? How do you respond? And how are you feeling? You know, how are you feeling? Are you starting to disobey? Are you starting to really check that's what's rolling out? might be so you wake up as those beautiful amazing beings of light that you are or are you still going with a storyline that's just a question i'm putting out just a question so let's not go with how it feels to feel the sadness of not seeing you yesterday I track that peace of not seeing my loved ones, not hugging my loved ones. And I really held that peace in my arms, in my heart. And I thought, I'm not going to give too much focus or power over to that. And as I did that, my loved ones were all around me. I could feel them. I could see their presence. And that touched my heart, as if they were with me. So I'm going to go on holding that, and I'm going to go on removing any of my focus from what is the stories that are going out there. Because if we don't give our focus, it will collapse of its own. So remember, if you don't have the wind in the sails of that ship that is sinking, that ship will sink. It, the old will crumble. The old will break down. 
and it will give space for the new. Jupiter, creation, into Aquarius, which is the power of the heart. The axis of Aquarius is Aquarius, group consciousness, serving life, the vision of the new world, the vision of new earth, rebirthing through you, and the axis 180 degrees is Leo, the inner child, the Christ consciousness, the power of the heart, feminine values, what do I care about? What do I care about? Well, I care about each one of you. And that's important. Because a lot of what's happening right now is because we really did not care enough for our planet. We made collectively some choices to keep abusing her through our bodies, through the way we do not relate to our bodies. We've not related properly to our bodies, or to our soul, or to our emotions. We've just gone with our emotions. I feel angry, so I just give angry out. I feel furious, I shove my fury out. But what we haven't realized is when we do that, we create the shadow. What's happening right now is we have created that. So how to reclaim that is through reclaiming as king with the open heart and shining compassion. I am responsible for that too. And from that place of I am responsible for that too, let's not go with shame, let's not go with guilt, Let's not go with a need to forgive, because the divine source is all forgiveness. Whatever your experience, it's all forgiveness. So let's just keep compassion. So as a light worker, and as a tracker from the time I was very young, I've been seeing all this, and now it's unfolding. Just know you're not alone. Just know Mabby is there. And I'm going to keep rolling those videos out so you remember you are that being of light. And I'm going to leave you with the most amazing sunshine and blessings. And it's Mabby and beautiful living joy and the sun. That amazing sunlight. Can you see? And there's a little plane above. So there we are. So beautiful people, wherever you are on earth, know I am holding you, I'm connecting with you, and I love you. I love you and I bless each one of you. So let's go back to that still point and shine our light. Shine it. Be bright, so when you meet other people, that frequency will awaken other people. You don't have to do anything, just the frequency of the beautiful beings that you are. Take good care, loads of love. Bye-bye.